Welcome and this time we are going to provide you with file system permissions. This video will not be a waste of time for you. I can assure you that we are providing a capsule mode of how permissions are being set in the Linux operating system plus what are the benefits of setting or privilege or providing privileges to the files and directories which come over to the machine. Now, why are permissions there in Linux? To, to control access to files, yeah, we know that. Multitasking system, just because Linux is a multitasking system. Multi-user system, because multiple users can uh, uh, use the system at the same time, yeah. Now, the three categories of honors that are possible for a file. It's a user honor, group honor, and the outside world, or the others. Before explaining all those things, let me introduce myself. I'm Reshma, and you can ping me on training at ipsrsolutions.com. Types of permissions read or r or otherwise 4 write or w or otherwise 2 execute or x or otherwise 1 okay i don't have to explain it more because um, yeah the the presentation says it all now why linux is different from the other operating systems all right this is because of the privileges which provide which is provided to the files and uh, to the directories inside the linux machine and this is what makes Linux more secure than the rest of the operating systems. Now, to check inside a file uh, or uh, to check uh, whether a file uh, has uh, permissions being currently set, we use ls minus l. Now, let's see. I'm going to touch a file, file ipsr2. All right. Now, when I ls the file that is ipsr2, okay, I can see that rw hyphen which means read write and no execute has been provided to IPSR2 for the user honor and read only for the group honor and read only for the others all right now when it comes to directory ls minus ld will be used so mkdir IPSR yeah three can be named for the directory now uh, IPSR3 and ls minus ld on IPSR3 will provide me with the the permissions that is read write and execute on the user honor read and execute on the group honor and read and execute on others or the outside world for directory that is ipsr3 all right now when i when i use ll or ls minus l then i can see all the properties of all the files and folders that are, are for sorry the directories all the files and directories that are currently available in the ipsr3 directory all right now to set so how can I set permissions for an existing file or change permissions for an existing file then I use this option that is yeah this option can be used that is uh, L C H mode suppose who what which is the method in which I'm going to provide the permission IPSR3 is the name of the directory so this who can be replaced with u g or o or even a can be used a yeah u can be used initially i can show you an example and then we'll move on to all those things okay who in the sense we for the user honor currently i have the permissions like read write and execute now you uh, what in the sense what it should add okay that is add along with the currently existing permission so there is nothing that we can add because all of the all the three permissions are available permissions are present there now if I need to subtract that is minus or uh, which in the sense there comes minus w so suppose I'm gonna provide u minus w then what happens is ls minus ld ips or 3 will provide me with yeah it will take away the right right permission and then if I use u equal to w then it sets with exactly that particular permissions which I have currently provided all right this is it now All right, now uh, this is it. Now uh, to penetrate into the directory. So to penetrate into the directory, I can use one method that is uh, that is whenever I'm gonna provide it like this. And even when I have files inside the directory, that is IPSR3 uh, slash file one to four, then CD into the directory IPSR3. I'm sorry, IPSR3 and ll uh, that will, pro will not provide me with the particular changes which I have made for IPSR3 so whenever I need the changes to be reflected into the inside of the directory then what I need to do is ch mode minus r and the particular 
options that the particular permissions which I should have for my directory IPSR3. Now when I check uh, minus L when I cd into the directory IPSR3 and ls minus L provided well, I can see that this one is being set to the entire files or subfolders which are currently present inside the directory IPSR3. All right. Now Now moving on to our next one that is how it looks the symbolic way that is what we, we were uh, seeing uh, right now as I have already said 4 stands for read and 2 stands for write and 1 stands for execute so whenever we have no permissions that, that means 0 0 and 0 will be there whenever we have only execute then 1 or x will be there so this is a symbolic way of providing now we can move on to the numerical method numerical method is nothing but uh, it is uh, just like uh, the symbolic way but we have a format that is ug or space a file name that is ipsr2 suppose and instead of ug okay instead of u i provide all the permissions that should be given to the user owner that is for example suppose i'm going to provide full permission for the user owner 5 and uh, g for the group or i'm going not full permission uh, read and execute for a user owner that is 4 plus 1 and for the group on I'm going to provide uh, read and write so that 4 plus 2 so 6 and for others I provide only the read axis so I can provide 4 on IPSR 2 that means I get the output like, like uh, IPSR 2 okay now I get the output like uh, read and execute on the yeah 5 4 plus 1 5 as I provide for the user owner read write read and write that is uh, 5 plus 1 6 for the user uh, root owner and I mean sorry the group owner and read only for the others that is for the outside world that is 4 all right now comes the next one that is the special permission this is special in Linux because whenever I have uh, okay have you ever thought why a user that is any user is able to change his or her own password using the pass WD command even if the pass WD let us stick even when the pass WD is being owned by the root user has WD is being on by the root user. Why is a normal user able to change the password using just by executing the pass WD even when the ownership is for the root and they have no current access to the files? Okay, why is they have just the others access? Okay, uh, the other access, so they shouldn't be able to uh, able to edit or uh, able to uh, change their own password using the pass WD. So why are they uh, able to? So that is because. Of the special permissions which is being set over here you can see an s over here right we, unlike the uh, the rest of the files or folders which you have seen so far s is present over there so that means we have already set a u plus s that is a s u id has been set on the uh, file that is past wd so that whenever u plus s has been set on a file uh, we can access it that is ipsr uh, to ls minus l ipsr2 that provides me with an s over here so that means whenever an s uid is being set on a file that file can be executed as a user that owns the file and not as a user who ran the file all right uh, i think that has been clear now comes the next one that is g plus s that is g u i d or s g i s g i d is nothing but SGID is nothing but uh, we're gonna provide that is suppose that we have a user that is uh, we have a user that is called Tom yeah now Tom is gonna create a directory like Tom Tom Jerry okay yeah Jerry is my directory now I'm gonna touch a few files inside a uh, Jerry uh, touch a uh, Jerry uh, file one to three now when I check the permissions uh, for the file I can see that yeah permission and ownership for the file I can see that uh, Tom is the owner of the file yeah of course Tom has created the directory and even the files inside it now when I'm gonna log out and uh, touch few files as a uh, user root that is inside Tom's home directory I have jury and I'm gonna touch files like file yeah one two three four six now when I cd into yeah when I uh, initially I went into sus Tom and when I cd into the directory jury and when I ll yeah I can see that uh, these uh, 4, 5 and 6 has their uh, user owner and group owner as root yeah of course because root has created the files inside the this particular directory now that 
what we are going to do is uh, whenever we need to create uh, whenever I'm gonna set uh, permission I mean like u plus a g I mean g plus s that is uh, s g i d is being uh, set on the file on the particular directory that is jury and now when I'm gonna log out uh, this has been set and now when I'm gonna log out and uh, I'm gonna touch files inside as a user root I'm gonna touch files inside home tom jury and file 7 to 9 all right now when I'm gonna check inside a jury I can see one thing that 7 8 and 9 has ownership that is the group ownership has been preserved as the real owner of the directory and not as a root user who tried to create files inside that okay I think the concept has been made clear now the next one is the sticky bit sticky bit is uh, nothing but it can be simply explained as whenever a sticky bit is being set on a directory then that directory can be deleted only by the owner of that directory and not by any of the uh, users who has permission on the directory write permission even if they have write permission on the directory they can only create or remove the files which they are, are creating inside the directory and, and, and can they have no access to delete the directory as they like all right now comes the uh, next one that is you must this is the last and the most important topic of uh, permissions that is have you ever wondered how whenever you create a file like IPSO4 example whenever you're gonna create a file and when you IP when you when you uh, uh, try to ls or check the properties of the file have you ever wondered from where these default properties comes from or default permissions comes from that is when we check the u mask we can see that is 0 2 2 the first 0 the first, the first place is being reserved for uh, the special permissions and whenever it is 4 0 2 2 that means that uh, su id is, should be set yeah and uh, if it is 2 0 2 2 that means uh, g uh, S G ID is being set and whenever it is uh, uh, whenever it is uh, T that is um, 1 0 2 2 that is the sticky bit has been set then that means um, the sticky bit has been set yeah now uh, my U mask is 0 2 2 so that uh, whenever I'm gonna touch a file I've already touched a file that is IPSR 4 which has permissions like uh, R plus 1 that is R, R and W comes so 4 plus 1 that is uh, 4 plus 2 that is 6 and read and read only for the group and the others so 4 and 4 so 6 4 4 should be my permission so from where did I get it that it is 6 6 6 that is a full permission that is RWX RWX and RWX minus 0 2 2 that is a U mask so from where I get 6 4 4 that is 6 minus 2 6 minus 2 and 6 minus 0 that is 6 4 4 that is how I, I got the default permissions and if it's for a directory then I need to check that is mkdir directory name is ipsr5 and now when I check directory ipsr5 I can see some default permissions over here from where did I get this I should get r plus w plus x that is 4 plus 2 plus 1 that is 7 then comes 4 plus 1 that is 5 and 4 plus 1 that is 5 so from where does 755 come from I can see that the U mask is uh, 022 and 777 is my full permission 777 minus 022 will give me 755 that means that is the default permissions which has been set to the directory that is it uh, with that I'm gonna wind up with the permissions topic and for further topics or further details about the open source or uh, Linux regarding Linux you can Tune in to IPSR Solutions. For any questions, you can comment below or mail me on training at IPSRSolutions.com. Thank you.